Donuts are tasty. Donuts taste delicious. Donuts come in shapes and sizes. Donuts are delicious prizes. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Now we have to keep that and we have to play that before the fucking show. God damn it. I was really hoping that would go nowhere so I could just cut it out and not feel bad about it. Stinky Boy Show with your hosts Nathan, aka Fright Shark, and Jeff, uh, aka Jafe Man. I wasn't ready. You're ready now. We're going. I was for adjusting it. the microphone. <laughs> well, it got it. It got all of it. I can't perform like this, Jeff. We're performing. <clears throat> I had to clear my throat. You know what? You know what you see a lot of on TV. That you, like, when you were a kid, did you see this on TV, like, did it have, uh, the organ grinder monkeys? Yeah. I never saw one of those in real life. Never, I don't think I've, they're real. I've been to, like, several cities as a child, and I never once saw an organ grinder. I never once saw an organ grinder, first off. And the only monkey mm, I ever no. saw was a zoo. A zoo monkey. I don't know if I've ever seen a monkey at all. I've been to multiple zoos. I don't think... We're not done with the intro. We have to do the intro. The real intro. I thought that was the real intro. I just did it. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, now I feel like it has to be or I'll feel bad. <laughs> I did my special announcer voice and everything. <laughs> How long have you been preparing for this? I haven't. I mean, a long time. <laughs> Since we went on our temporary hiatus. Welcome to show. <laughs> you did it wrong. <laughs> Welcome to it. I am me. That's him. All right, we good go. Let's go talking. We uh, good three go. But no, for real. Welcome back to the. St- that was loud again. Fuck me. Welcome back to the Stinky Boy Show with your two favorite lovable noun. Give me a noun. Hosts. Hosts. <laughs> your two favorite lovable hosts. I'm Nathan. I am Fright Shark on Twitter. Uh, no joke today. And that's Jeff. I'm Jafeman on Twitter. I'm 86 years old in real life. Disprove that. I dare you. You, you probably could. You I have, could. I've posted a one picture on my Twitter of me. That's on your new Twitter or the one yeah, that you on my new Twitter. Ah, interesting. This is all. This is like one of my first tweets. Do you want to see? This is not for the podcast, but look at the the cover for the thing that I keep the notes in for the podcast. Good picture right there. Uh, Tom Hanks. It's Tom Hanks. It's that sweaty picture of Tom Hanks from the Green Mile. <laughs> sweaty Tom Hanks. Um. So, anyways, spirit animal, stinky boy show. We are the official podcast of the Oklahoma Mudfuckers organization. Uh, remember, Ew. if there's mud, they'll fuck it. That's the slogan for the Oklahoma mudfuckers. Specifically in Oklahoma. Yeah, it's not a nationwide. Um, there's chapters that have individual uh, mission statements, but they're not all tied to the Oklahoma mudfuckers organization. So only go to that organization specifically if you have mud to be fucked. Um, that's our first official sponsor. It's real. Don't Google it. But do. But don't look it up. So, Jeff, what's up? We've been gone for a month, and then a week before that. Uh, well, let's see. The week before that, you we did we did our recap where you lost your car, then yes. you got a new car. Yes. Uh, I hadn't bought my car at the time that we recorded oh, right. the last podcast. You had a concussion. Con- 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 you have the concussion now. I gave it to you. A concussion. So, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. Then you got that hang glider. Um, but that ended up that crashing. didn't pan out. Yeah, yeah. It didn't cr- it crashed and burned? It's not like Far Cry. Um, then nothing happened for like two weeks. No, I sat in, sat in a chair for a couple of weeks, and that was about it. You were in a coma for a bit. Well, that happened. I mean, did that anybody happen. tell you that? Mm-mm. 
But I figured I assumed. You're still in a coma. I assumed. That's why this episode feels so strange. Please wake up. Your family misses you. (laughs) Okay. Okay. But anyways, yeah. You guys knew I got in a car accident. Um, I bought a car the day after we recorded the last podcast. Um, And I've just been cruising for a month. That's why we haven't recorded. He's been been around the donation. All around. I went on a tour. I didn't tell anyone about it. It was a tour of me sitting in parks by myself, eating lunch. Um, No, but then nothing happened. Actually, my computer broke uh, the week after I bought my car. I had to replace something, which is the real reason why we weren't recording for two weeks. And then we just didn't record for two more weeks. We fell out of the groove a lot. Yeah, because everything in my life wants me to stop recording this podcast, including my listeners. We're doing it. I get hate mail now. Do you really? Like they say to stop. I actually got love mail for the past month. They're like, thank you so much for not recording the podcast this week. Oh, man. And uh, I don't know how they got my address. That sounds real and really offensive, actually. Don't know how they got my address. But they did. Stop it, please. Uh, we like so, to have fun. So I've moved and we're back. Um, <laughs> but uh, some other stuff happened. Um, Thanksgiving happened last week. In case you were also in a coma, like myself, uh, uh, I got really jacked on Thanksgiving. Like, he was strong for a day. Yeah, it was like a Cinderella sort of thing. Then I got hit by a car and a lot. Like all the muscle just fell off of my body, and I got replaced by this horrible, horrible, out of shape beast. <laughs> my favorite thing is that who knows? They won't know how much we're joking about and how much we're being serious about. They don't know what of this. I might not have ever gotten in a car accident, but I did. I bought a new car. You posted pictures of it on Twitter, didn't you? Yeah, no one looked at it. Oh, I looked at um, it. Well, you looked at it in real life, too. I Well, yeah, I did. Um, and then... Yeah, because I tend to pick you up. <laughs> yep, and then... Uh, um, not, nothing. Well, Thanksgiving, that's right. Thanksgiving happened. I had two Thanksgivings, Jeff... You had to work on Thanksgiving. I did. That's fucking stupid. Not really. You know what I did on Thanksgiving? <laughs> like, at work? I have turned on my phone, I connected to the store's internet, and I watched Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods <laughs> before I went home. Nice. All I did at work, because I was the only person at work, pretty much, was essentially the same thing. I, like, watched anime and Friday Night Lights all day. For like 10 hours, that's all I did. And I played Fantasy Life on my DS a little bit. My DS is dead. Like, for good? No. Oh, who killed it? But the battery life has been like crap lately. I need to, I don't know what to do with that. Sounds like you need to buy a new 3DS XL. Yeah, when it comes out. By Nintendo. It looks cool because it's got a C-stick on it. I've heard it's not great. Really? I've heard it's not really... Uh, very effective. That sucks. Yep. It does. But at least the processor is more powerful. Because I need that. Uh, I de- have figured out why my DS has been so slow lately. Because you have too many fucking games I on have it. too many fucking games I told you it. that the last time I saw you go to your DS home screen. I was like, you have a lot of games. Just because you have the space for it, Jeff, doesn't mean you need to use all the space. I uninstalled, like, three <laughs> games, and it's so much better. I installed, like, the biggest games. It was Bravely Default. That was yeah, the biggest one. I actually uninstalled that recently, too, because I'm never going to play it again. Um, good game. Really good game. Black Friday and Thanksgiving Day shopping. I did none. You did some shopping for yourself, didn't you? Yeah, I bought a car. That's right. You can <laughs> I bought a car and... Got a TV with it. Yeah. Pretty nice. They didn't want to give me the TV. Okay, this is... A, oh, oh I didn't bre- hear this. I'm going to break down okay. how negotiations went. Yeah, because, okay, for the listeners at home, uh, I bought my car on Halloween. Funny, we both bought our cars on kind of holidays. Yeah. Um, and we both ended up buying the same model car a year apart. Uh, but, yeah, I we purchased almost the same car. From the same dealership. And so, uh, this is fun. I didn't hear about them. The Yeah, I haven't heard about the process of you buying your car. Okay, so the original car, the car's original price was like the sticker price before. Everything else was $14,000 and 900 
like 95. Uh Uh-huh. So there was that. Um, So at the end of it, basically, when we were like signing the papers and everything, you're like, okay, so here's the price. It's like, it's going to be like out the door. uh, It'll be $15,700. And Is that with like the warranties and stuff? Yeah, that was. Okay. And that was because my girlfriend's dad had talked to them. It was originally going to be like sixteen thousand dollars and i was like that is a thousand dollars out of my price range yep and so they're like okay well we'll go we can go fifteen thousand dollars like flat and i was like that is fine like i was thinking that's fine with me because that's the limit of where i'd be going with my loan and then elena's dad my girlfriend's dad i'll cut that out so they don't know her name um he was like, let's go down farther. It's like, I don't know if you can, but all right. And then he did. He knocked off, he knocked off like $26, like, which isn't much, but they're like, we'll knock off $26 more and we'll give you this free TV. And I was like, okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> Pretty sweet. They did not make a single dollar off of that car. <laughs> no, and that's, that's the fun part. See, I assume... Your girlfriend's dad has bought many cars from that place before? At least four? Yeah. That's like how my dad is with the place I got my old car from. Um, See, the thing that people don't understand is that, like, everyone's really stressed out about having to go into a dealership and, like, deal with the salespeople and the finance people and have to worry about, like, should I negotiate? Negotiating is one of the easiest things in buying a car. When I got my car, obviously my car's more expensive because it's a year newer. Uh, it started at, yeah, it started at around 15000 was the base price for the car. And we went through the process. I went in the day early, started the process, because I wanted to know how much, well, I wanted to know how far I could get into buying a car before I could be like, I got to go, because mm-hmm. I need to go, like, you know, take, I was borrowing someone's car. I had to take it home. I was like, I'll come back tomorrow, and I'll finish this up. But I, uh, at, they told me like they put, they did the calculations and ended up being more like sixteen thousand. And I went home and I called the guy, uh, like the sales manager, before I left work the next day. And I was just like, I want my car for a thousand dollars less. I was like, it's on the on the website. It says uh, it's a thousand dollars less. So I want it for fifteen final and not sixteen. And he stopped. He was like hesitant for a second, and he was like. Okay, we'll bump 50, we'll bump a thousand off, and it'll be fifteen. I was like, great, cool. Like it's the easiest fucking thing ever. I probably could have been like, all right, two thousand. I want I want another thousand off, and you know what? I want you to pay for the gas <laughs> for a year. I'm gonna set your building on fire. <laughs> a little far, but whatever. A little far. Point is, Jeff and I have new cars, and they're the same model. <laughs> And the bodies look the same, but they're slightly different colors. Mine's is brighter. Yeah, his is like a bright silver. Mine's like a grayish silver. You can see mine at night if you have like even the tiniest bit of light, which I'm grateful for. Cause <laughs> this is the first thing I said when the guy was like, "Okay, so what kind? Of, what are you looking for in a car? Like what color?" And I was like, "The brightest color possible." <laughs> I was yep. like, "I want it to stand out because I don't want to lose it." <laughs> <laughs> I want a car that's purple and green and has a flag on the top of it that's yellow. I want a big flag on top of the car. I want to be able to pick it out out of a police lineup and be like, that's the car that mugged me. It was the one with the beard and the big eyes. <laughs> I So that's our, that's our th- cars. Thanksgivings. I had two Thanksgiving dinners. And... Um, How did you not throw up? You know, last year... I had two Thanksgiving dinners also. Did you throw up then? Uh Well, see, the problem with last year, it was the first time, because the year before that, I only ate at your family's house. Last year, and my sister lives in the area now, so I had dinner at her house, and I watched football over there. And then I went to your house, not knowing that you guys hadn't eaten yet. I, I didn't... I, I should have known, but I forgot you guys are a little bit later in your... We eat dinner at normal feast. time. Yeah, you eat a normal, which is not the normal thing to do on Thanksgiving for for my family. It's we, for most families. I think that's weird. It's like people eating dinner at two o'clock. I'm like, that's 
Late Dude, lunch. Our friend, who we call Shiloh, they eat lunch at, or they eat dinner at yeah at like eleven or twelve o'clock. They eat so early, and I've eaten there for Thanksgiving before too, and it's ridiculous. That's Thanksgiving lunch. Like they're up at like midnight cooking because they eat so goddamn early. But anyways, so yeah, so I forgot that your family, yeah, your family eats at normal every other day time. And so my sister's uh, in-laws, they eat at like 2 o'clock, 2, 3 o'clock. So I ate there and I was like, I'm going to go hang out with Jeff. I got there. Literally, I think I walked in as dinner was starting. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I, I didn't want to be rude. I had just eaten a very full Thanksgiving dinner. So I sat down. Also, I had taken some shots before I left my sister's house, and I knew I was just the safe enough distance away that it wouldn't hit me in time. Like, I could drive the, like, three minutes over. So I was on my way out, and they're like, oh, just do some shots and stuff. I was like, okay. I took a couple quick shots. I was parked in front of your house. I turned my car off, and, like, I remember pulling my phone out to text you that I was there. And as I was looking at my phone, like, they all the shots hit me. And I just sit there, I was like, oh, fuck. I think I'm I'm almost drunk right now. And so, like, I went into your house drunk, not expecting a meal. And then I had to sit down and not be rude and eat a full meal with all of you guys. <sighs> there were antics. I took a, what was it, a roll and, like, turkey and ham. No, no, it was just ham. It's a bunt too much ham. And I ate it with a fork. <laughs> and that was mean to myself. And I ate a lot more ham and mashed potatoes and turkey and I think I ate dessert there. And I hung out there for a few more hours until I was, like, sober again, I think. And then I went home, and I basically slept for, like, 13 hours. And I woke up, and I felt like I was going to throw up my whole life. Ugh. Like, it was the worst. My secret this year was I knew it was coming. I knew I had a Thanksgiving lunch and a Thanksgiving dinner. So I was discreetly not eating a lot of food at my sister's in-law's house. I ate, like... Two pieces of ham and a roll, and I had, like, three cups of water to fill my stomach up. And then I went all out at your house. <laughs> I ate too much ham again, some turkey, a couple of rolls, and all the other fixings you guys had on that table. I had everything but cranberry sauce and stuffing. I love food holiday. I like, uh, I like corn pudding. That was good. Yeah. It's delicious. See, um, I'm I'm definitely uh, simpler when it comes to food. If if my Thanksgiving, which one year it was because I worked a weird schedule, so I didn't eat with anyone, I just ate by myself. Pizza Thanksgiving? Well, I had pizza Thanksgiving, and I had pizza Christmas, and pizza, we've had pizza Halloween. Um, that was when I was much lonelier and sadder, and I celebrated holidays by myself. But, you uh, also didn't live near any of your friends. Yeah, when I lived in North Carolina and I worked a 3.30 to midnight job, um, that meant that my family ate Thanksgiving dinner around four. I had to, like, I was asleep because I was so tired. Um, like, I would wake up at, like, two on a on a work day. So I didn't even go to Thanksgiving, but they left ham at my house for me. Like, they cooked ham and then took some off and left it there for me. My whole Thanksgiving was just, like, a quarter of a ham. I just ate, oh, that's all it was. You oh, could set, God. You could set a plate... Like, four inches high with ham, and I'll just eat that for Thanksgiving dinner. I'm a simple man. I don't need, like, stuffing and casseroles and pies. Talking and... shit about casseroles? No, I'm just saying I don't need it. I had, was a green bean casserole at your house? That stuff was good. Uh, fucking right, it was good. It was good. <laughs> but, if I had gotten to your house and they would have said, Nathan, this year we're doing something different. We cooked five hams, and that's all, all we're going to eat. I would have said, great, can I have one for myself? Can I have a ham for myself, please? And I would have eaten the whole thing, and it would have been fantastic. And that's why they call you HDS. That's why they call me Hot Dog Sandwich for all the ham I eat. Oh, yeah, that was the other the other thing. You called me BGB, <laughs> and it took me about three seconds to break that down, and I realized you called me a big gay baby. Big gay baby. It's very rude. So, there was this, I was at work yesterday, and uh, I was in the meat department mm -hmm. with our friend Lingo, mm -hmm. and uh, she asked if we had, like, if we had ham, and we were like, yeah, we have some ham, and like, 
and she was like, can you grind for us, for me? And Lingo was like, no, we can't. Like, we don't grind ham. We don't have a machine for that. And I was sitting there thinking, why would you want to grind up ham? And then she ham would, hot dogs. And then she she was saying, it was like, huh? oh, was, I want to. Ma-. She's like, dang, I guess I have to make my own sausage somehow, uh, some way else. And I was like, you make ham sausage. That's not how you make sausage. Yeah, I was thinking about. it. I was like, that's not right. No, absolutely not. Ham sausage. I mean, I guess it's kind of right, but <laughs> no, no, because ham isn't made out of the garbage parts of a pig. Yeah, ham is made out of the good parts. <laughs> Yeah, that's the, the point. regular part. Ham is decadent. Ham means something. I can eat a sausage and not even know I just ate a sausage. It just happened, and I'm I think about it later, and I realize I had I had four sausages when I was on my way out the door. I didn't even realize a it. bunch of pig snouts and buttholes. Yeah, and I don't know what they do to those buttholes, but they taste fantastic. I think it's all the sage. I went on a I somehow stumbled upon a vegan blog earlier. And was it one of the vegan blogs? It's like, this is why you shouldn't eat meat. Exactly. This is all the gross things. Ha rump. <laughs> and I'm sitting there thinking, you know what f- you know what fertilizes plants? Poop. 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 And the dead. That was loud, but it know. got the point across. That was the point <laughs> that I got across. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I don't have anything against vegans. I don't either. I'm just saying. I just enjoy... Tone it down. ...to eat meat. And I don't want to be told I'm a bad person for it. That's me and my hot takes on the podcast. Episode 14, hot takes. Hot cakes. Ooh, I want some pancakes right now. I knew a girl who was, uh... She was the... She was the type of person that you like think took everything too far Mm -hmm. in regards to her beliefs and stuff like she was a vegan and uh all that which was cool but the uncool part was that she would get in your face about it and she would spout like okay one time i was at the community college um cafeteria Mm -hmm. i was eating a burger that i just bought and she was like, what is that? And I was like, it's a burger. Uh, <laughs> and she was like, do you know what they put in burgers? And I was like, I'm hoping they put cows in here. <laughs> and then uh, she and then she pulled out her binder. Like, she, pull, she pulled out her binder to lecture me. And one of the things on her binder was, I wish that I was making this up because it sounds so stereotypical. It said, meat is murder. Did you, uh... I don't remember where it was. I think it was like a Chipotle or something. You see the thing where the lady, like, walked in to a restaurant where people were eating and had like a picture of a chicken uh-huh. and was screaming about how someone had killed her daughter, and but she's talking about the chicken that someone killed to like serve these people the food. She's like actually crying and like screaming at the top of her lungs, and I would never, like. I probably wouldn't say anything to the lady while she was doing that if I was in that situation. But, I mean, goddamn, what a way to ruin, like, not even a meal. I'd feel guilty regardless if someone was like, hey, you know that an animal had to be slaughtered for that? I'd be like, yeah, I know, but can we talk about this later, please? I'm trying to eat. But, like, they ruined the dining experience for these people, like, sitting down in a restaurant and eating, and you have to have this lady screaming at you. I don't care what... The person would be screaming about if I'm trying to eat and someone's screaming in my ear. They could be screaming about, I don't know, who wants a million dollars? Like there's who wants a million dollars, but they're yelling Shut it. The I'm like, oh my god, Shut please, just let me eat. Give me the million dollars when I walk outside, where it's okay to yell. But it's like, it's like we are inside. That's like, there's a reason you don't do two things inside. You don't yell and you don't fire a gun. <laughs> yeah, those are the only two things you're not allowed to do inside. Everything it's else, common courtesy. Yeah, everything else, murder. You can fire. You can't fire the gun, but you can stab in indoors. You can stab people with a gun. It has to. You can, you can pistol whip. You can pistol whip all day. Just walk through, swinging the the butt of the gun. That's America. That's yeah. what you can do in America. Those are the things which we, as American citizens, are granted permission to do. We can pistol whip people. Mm-hmm. We can drive tanks. 
We're one of the only countries where you can drive tanks. We can own tanks yeah. somehow. Yeah. Uh, you can just go down the street to your local library, buy a grenade, probably. I've I haven't never been, been into a library. I haven't been in a library, yeah. yeah. I mean, the rules have changed. Like, schools give out baseball bats for you to beat up bullies. Mm-hmm. That's the thing. Uh, they, like, if you go to a school library, they give you, like, barbed wire to wrap around those bats. Yeah. Um, if you, uh, I heard, you know, it's been, been five years since we were in uh, uh, public schools, like grade schools. Um, but I heard now that, like, instead of instead of in-school suspension, uh, what they do is they make they you... just beat you. Well, no, they make you come in on a Saturday, right? Uh-huh. And then they take your shoes. They, you can leave your socks on, um, but they fill the hallway with thumbtacks, and you have to run down the hallway. Oh, and that's man. that's your in-school suspension. And I'd then there's... take the beating. And then there's in-school suspension where they put hooks in your skin, and they hang you from the ceiling in the cafeteria. Oh. Literal in-school suspension. <sighs> that's Reaganomics right there. <laughs> trickle down and all that shit yeah yeah Whew. schools have changed the country's different but anyways i don't think i've ever been given uh the vegan lecture from someone like someone's like oh do you know what's in that anything like that but honestly i don't think i'd ever want to because i would be like i don't care <laughs> i don't care at all finishing off the story of when she pulled when she pulled out oh, her minor, binder she, yeah. fl- she flipped to like one of the she printed out like a bunch of a bunch of things just hand me a brochure like, early. Yeah, basically. And she was like, she flipped to one of them, and by the time she started reading, I had already finished the burger. <laughs> it was already <laughs> gone. I enjoyed it more while you were talking to me. She was like... It's good to have company. She was like, where's the burger? And I was like, I ate it. <laughs> and she was like, why did you eat it? I was about to tell you, it was like, why it was bad. And I was like, you're gonna... It was like, you think any normal person would sit there, not eat the food that they had... While a sh- complete stranger slammed their binder on the table and would be like, "Don't eat that," and here's why. It's like I'm eating it. It's not like a, it's not like I was eating like, if you if it was a hot dog, like you can easily dissuade me from eating a hot dog. Yeah, but in a, in but a different a way, dog. in a different way to me, it's like if I'm about to buy a hot dog, and someone puts their hand on my shoulder and they're like, "Hot dogs are the worst food," I'd be like, "You know what? You're right. I'll buy something else." <laughs> It's not a guilt thing as in, like, what are you eating? It's literally what you're eating is is gross. <laughs> don't eat... Don't put this into your body again. You've already made this mistake so many times. Yeah, like, the thing is, like, hot dogs are, like, the last thing. When I was at Wawa before I came here, I was like, maybe I'll buy a hot dog. But then, I'm like, all I had was a simple thought was maybe don't eat a hot dog. Do and remember, then I was like, okay, I won't. <laughs> do you remember on, uh, I think it was Friday night, last Friday night, we were... Er, Thursday night, maybe, we all went to Wawa at, like, 2 or yeah. 3 in the morning. You asked me if I wanted to get a hot dog at 2 in the morning, and I don't think we exchanged words after that, but I think there was a look that was like, let's not do this to ourselves right now. No, I remember you were like, he was like, actually, I might, and I was like, don't do it, and you're like, you're right, I won't. <laughs> yeah, and that's the thing, it's like, if someone tells, if, if I'm in the mindset where I'm going to buy a hot dog, which it happens maybe once a week where I want to get a hot dog... And if I can't convince myself to not get a hot dog by the time I'm, like, at Wawa or at 7-Eleven, then it's going to take someone else reminding me of what I'm about to do to get me to stop. Because, yeah, hot dogs are, like, the last ditch, like, I'm super tired. I don't I, even want it because the, the diagram of me going home, there's a 7-Eleven before my house. And it's literally the first place I can get food before I get to my house. If I'm so tired that I would rather go to the first place before I get to my house or go or drive past my house and then have to turn around and come back, I'll go to 7-Eleven and I'll get a hot dog. <laughs> so, yeah, it's literally like if I have no energy or no other choice, I'll go to 7-Eleven and I'll buy a hot dog. And the thing is, you are driven to that choice, but... It doesn't t- even then. It doesn't take much to dissuade you. No, I could be in there. The guy at Seven Eleven could tell me not to buy a hot dog, and I'd be like, "All right, well, I'll." All I could say was, "You don't." Do- he- all he would have to do is ask, "Like, do you really want one?" No, he you're just, right. He just has to. He has to do his job. Oh, where he's like, where you're like, "Can I get a? Can I get a roller, please?" And he's like, uh, "Is that the one you want?" And you're like, "No, it's not." And then you just leave. None of them. Sorry. He's like, you're right, thank you. I wish people would do that more. One time, oh I was God. going to buy a slice of cake, 
and one of the one of my coworkers was walking by who I had just started working with and I was like looking at it and like I hadn't decided between which cake I wanted to get. And then as soon as I touched one, he walked behind I, he was nowhere near before. But somehow he had walked by me and he was like, You don't need that, Jeff and I was like, You know what, you're right. <laughs> you're guardian angel. I was like, you're absolutely right. I don't need that. Uh, I wish I had someone to do that. Not even just for food decisions. I'll tell you another thing uh, where I was dissuaded. I almost bought a PS4 on Friday. Actually, that would have been the one thing I bought on Black Friday. I almost went to GameStop and bought a PS4. Um, and I walked in, and one of the guys came up to me. It's a guy that I don't normally see there. Um... And he was like, what do you, uh, he was like, what console do you have? I was like, well, I have an Xbox One, um, but I was thinking about maybe buying a PS4. And, well, if, well, no, first he was, like, telling me about the games. I was like, yeah, I have, I, I have these games. I've played these games. There's not really anything I want on the Xbox One right now. I was like, I think I'm going to buy a PS4. And he was like, you shouldn't buy a PS4. And in my head, I was still like, well, I want to buy a PS4. I was like, I don't care if I should or shouldn't. I want to buy a PS4 right now, and that's mm-hmm. why I came in. And he, like, kind of kept repeating himself a couple times. And, like, I told him, I was like, I know that, like, this is this is getting super into, like, video game talk. But I was like, I know Xbox One right now has the better exclusives mm-hmm. and, like, all that stuff. And, like, right now, technically, it's the cheaper console. But I already own one of those. I want to buy the other one right now. Like, that was my mindset. I was like, I know that from my standpoint, I think the Xbox One will have the better games. And I don't care about resolution and frame rate and all that stuff. I was like, but I want to buy a PS4. That's literally the reason I came to the store. I was going to get something from Starbucks, and I decided to walk across the street and maybe get a PS4. And he just kept saying, it like, you know, I don't think you should buy a PS4. And after a while, I was like, I guess I'm not buying a PS4 then. And so I was like, okay, you talked me out of it. See ya. You lost your business, but you got me to not spend $400 on something. So... Good on that guy. I hope he gets fired, but also <laughs> yeah. thanks for dissuading me from making a big purchase. <laughs> yeah. Really That's worked out. $400 that... That now I don't have, so it yeah. doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, I spent it on other things. <laughs> oh, uh, man. So, we didn't go shopping on Black Friday, but we went to the mall on the, the mall. Saturday. And before we get into that, well, so kind of leading us into it, I make bad decisions about that mall constantly. Almost every time I go to that mall, it's a bad decision. I remember, was it last year, two years ago, Skyfall came out? I don't even remember when that was. I think it was 2013, Skyfall came out in theaters. I don't know, I never saw it. Um, Well, basically, it came out around a holiday. Like, the next week, there was some holiday. I don't remember, it might have been the 4th of July or something like that. Some holiday where I didn't have to work, and also I wasn't, like, doing anything. Like, it wasn't a family celebration holiday. But I knew that everyone else was doing stuff. So I think it might have been the 4th of July, because I never do anything on the 4th of July. And, uh, so a couple of my friends, you were at work, or I would have invited you instead. I was definitely at work. Uh, Yeah, but a couple of my friends was like, let's go see a movie. And so I was like, let's go see Skyfall. And... They're like, well, it's the 4th of July. It won't it be, like, busy? And I was like, well, if everyone's going to be watching, like, fireworks somewhere, then we should be fine. It won't be busy. And we got to the mall, and the place was packed. I don't know why people were shopping on the 4th of July. I don't think they were. I think literally every single person who filled up this, like, thousand parking spot uh, lot was there to see Skyfall. Because the fucking line went out of the lobby... And, like, out to the where the escalators are. This is inside. No one knows what we're talking about except for people here. And then it wrapped back around and went in back into the lobby, like, by the concierge desk and the, the concession desk. Like, that's how long this line was. And, and I had to walk up to the concierge because I had already bought the ticket. Mm-hmm. And I was like, is this for Skyfall? And he was like, yep, this is for all of the Skyfall showings. And I was like, give me my money back because I'm not seeing this movie today. So I dragged three of my friends out, three of our friends out, to see this movie and we made the same mistake on Saturday going to the mall on a shopping weekend. Why? I think that was my idea. And that was my idea again. And again, I dragged three of my friends out to the mall. Actually, you drove me, so I made you waste gas going to the mall. 
and it took us 10 minutes to find a parking space. I, just, I make so many mistakes. Did we end up seeing... What, did we see a movie? I never saw Skyfall. So. No, no, and I, I, we didn't see that. And we also tried to see 23, 20, 22 Jump Street. <laughs> we ended up seeing How to Train Your Dragon. Good movie. Yeah, I will Real not, good that's movie. not a mistake. That was... No, like, that was a happy accident, is yeah. what I call it. I didn't like Blessing the first one. I didn't like the first How to Train Your Dragon, and not I really liked either. the second one. <laughs> I liked the second one a lot. Good stuff. That had a lot of things that, it, like, appealed to me. See, like, spoiler alert, <laughs> when Hiccup went Super Saiyan. <laughs> a great part of that movie. Yeah, it was cool. When he, like, fused with his dragon, like, that was the coolest that part. That was cool, and then he, uh, he became the Hokage. Really cool movie. You can't hear me, but I'm nodding my head. Yeah, he's nodding. He knows. Because he saw it. If you didn't, you're missing out on a strange movie. Duh. It was like a... I'm sure they got sued over it. This episode right now is starting to... We're starting to reveal to our audience that we're huge nerds. Oh, no, they know. They have to well, know. Well, I feel like they know, but they don't know the specifics. I just talked about uh, the PS4 and the Xbox One. And now, like... Everyone likes Dragon Ball Z. Not everyone. Everyone. I don't know about that. Which, hey, no judgment. Just like the things that you like, and everything will be fine. Everyone knows Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> That's true. I feel like more people like... Do you think more people like Sailor Moon or Dragon Ball Z? Dragon Ball Z? By a wide margin, I like I both. Believe. And I feel like there's a lot of like-minded people to myself. Uh, earlier today, I made a pretty soldier Sailor Moon reference. You did. I, was, I heard that. <laughs> Oh, While weird. we were watching a different anime. Yep. Look at us go. In that anime, uh, it's called Giver. He found a weird machine thing. It's a parasite. That turned into a horror. Yeah, a horrible monster that wrapped around his body. It was like gross and gelatinous and it was all muscle. It was just like muscle tissue. It was gross. But the way he was perceiving it was. He was in a, a pretty. <coughs> sorry. Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon transformation scene. Yeah. But it was this horrifying monster surrounding like his body. fighting evil by moonlight, but not really, because his horrible body was transforming. He turned into a mud monster. It was gross. Ugh. It's a lot of gross things, anime. It's a revealing episode about the two of us and our anime obsessions. I went to the gym today. Uh-huh. Um, for, like, that was the first time I... Like, worked out. Like, I have a home gym, but mm. I don't have the equipment that the regular gym has. So, I was targeting all the muscle groups that I don't target at home. Balls. Yeah, my balls. Thighs. thighs uh, uh, like, the small of my back. Yeah, yeah, the small of your back, your upper neck. Yeah, upper neck. Um, under chin. You work the under chin there a little bit. Like my heart. <laughs> yeah, you got the heart stretcher in there. Yeah. Um, uh, especially the thigh hugger the machine. Top, the top two parts of your abdomen, yeah. but not the other parts of it. The sternum. Mm, got a good rib workout. Yeah. Uh, my elbow joint and my left big toe, specifically that one. Because um, I can't do the right one because gout. <laughs> because of your gout, right. right. So anyways, uh, gym story. What were you doing at the, why were you, what happened while you were there? Something wacky, I hope? Uh, nothing wacky. It was just the first time I had worked out, like, those muscles in, mm -hmm. like, almost a year. So, yeah. I went, so, I went home, I made myself some food, uh, I ate the food, and I started watching TV, then I fell asleep, and then I woke up, like, half an hour later and my body was like hey what my body was like uh the roommate that comes over into your room like if because you go... he found something fucked up in yeah, the he apartment found, he found something fucked up uh because you had just been out partying the night before and he was like hey what the fuck did you do last night he's like because there's like there's a lot of shit out there there's just a lot of shit and you're like what and like you wake up and you're like covered in shit and you're like oh god <laughs> shit all over me oh no like, what did I do? Uh, basically, it was that, but, like, 
it was body my body was destroyed. My my body was like, hey, what the fuck did you just do? He's like, what the? He's like, what the hell did you just? Do? You can't just do that. He's like, you can't just do that. He's like, you can't just bench press. No, no. Yeah. What'd you work on, bud? You work on some triceps. Some. Uh, you got mostly cardio at home, right? Yeah, I did. I did the muscles that I did. It was all upper body, okay. but it was all the muscles that I would require that would require me to drive home. <laughs> oh, I love doing that. So, like, turning was a chore. I had to, like, get up to it. I had to, I had to find the tricep strength <laughs> to, un- to pull the telescope oh, yeah, and the steering wheel. Oh, yeah, push that thing down. And then I pulled it forward as much as I could. I scooted my seat forward so that I could turn, so I could physically turn the steering like wheel. an old person. Yeah. Basically, was... it looked like I had just installed, like, a blowjob giving machine while I was driving, and I was like, ugh, ugh. That would be nice. Uh, no, Maybe I should ask the dealership about that tomorrow. It's like, I heard you guys give, uh... Do you have blowjob machines? You, like, put it in the, f- the driver's seat? You can and just ins- pull up to it. <laughs> it's like a little snug, a little safety mechanism in case I get into a car accident. It doesn't yeah, just I want to protect my, my dick. dick off. Yeah, I want to protect it. But anyways, that's one of my favorite things, though, about going to the gym. I haven't been in a few months, but, like... Because you're back. Yeah, my back sucks. I don't, I, I'm afraid. I, I need to go get, like, an MRI on it. But I don't, what if I have to have surgery? I don't want to do that. It's like you have to have surgery. You just don't get it. Just roll off the table. Ah, fuck. Now my my wrist is broken. <laughs> Fix it. Now I have to get surgery anyway. I'm suing you. <laughs> Pay for the surgery. And my back. But anyways, um, uh, yeah, but when I did go, when we would, like, uh, go up on bench or max out on bench, stuff like that, my favorite thing, because it would be so weird, but I still I thought it was fun, was, yeah, like, having to, like, lift your arms up to get, like, to the right spot on the steering wheel and, like, feeling your rotator cuffs trying to kill themselves on you. That's a fun thing at the gym. Oh. I spent my last three days terribly sick and in bed almost the whole time. In the past, um, say, 36 to 48 hours I've probably slept like 25 hours ah damn dude and I spent the other parts of it uh, I had a lot of NyQuil playing a lot of Far Cry 4 Far Cry <laughs> you're immature that's an immature I'm thing immature. to call the game how dare you they put a lot of work into that game Fart Cry I mean it's funny <laughs> real funny <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing you think that they think that about nope. does? No. Nope. Uh, oh god. You want to you guys have you started playing paintball. Oh, I yeah. want to play paintball. Yeah, man. We have paint- That's another reason I started going to the gym again. <laughs> you got to get your paintball muscles ready. Yeah, I have to get physically fit so that when push comes to shove when we're all playing paintball, I'm going to climb a fucking tree and I'm going to snipe. <laughs> Dude, we did some badass things. Also, those woods are dangerous, but it kind of makes it more fun. There's a lot of hills. There's a lot of ticks. No, I didn't get any ticks. We were wearing way too much clothes for that. Okay. Because, like, I mean, if we're going to go, it's going to be in the morning on a Sunday. And so it's going to be, like, 30 degrees outside. So you got to dress in layers, which is smart anyway, so you're, the paintballs don't hurt you so much. You're not getting any ticks there. We're f- covered head to toe. But anyways, yeah, paintball. Good stuff. But, I want to uh, get a morph suit. Well... What do you mean? So that my whole body is covered, I don't have to worry about that. Are you gonna? I'm buy, very particular. You gonna buy a jumpsuit for paintball? No, don't do that. Don't buy any. Just use your old clothes. I'm not gonna buy anything for paintball. Besides, besides the stuff that I already have for it. Right. I mean, I bought a gun and a mask and gloves, which are important. I want to do airsoft more than I want to do paintball. I'm buying an airsoft gun next. There's only one place to play airsoft in, like, this whole fucking state, and it's, like, an hour away. Really? Yeah, it's in Rockville. Ooh. Stupid. Can't we just play in the woods? Yeah, but then we lose all the pellets. You just buy pellets. Yeah, but it's wasteful. When you get uh, guns, they give you, like, a thousand pellets. You know how quickly those go away? I imagine pretty quickly, but, I mean, pellets aren't expensive. If you're going to play paint, uh, or, uh, airsoft, they are. I don't know. But I've done the research. They're not expensive. You're right. I'm just being combative. 
<laughs> Why? I don't know. It's I want to get the glow. I want to use my glow in the dark ones. Oh, right. I forgot about this. I hate them. I hate all of the BBs because they look like candy and I want to eat them, but I know I shouldn't. I'm an adult. <laughs> like, I've had these these pellets for like two years two now. Years. And each time I see them, I'm like, is this candy? And then I have to remind myself, no, this is not candy. I fear for small children under three years old because that if if I'm thinking, if like the first thought when I pick up a small BB is I want to eat that. Because, like, I want to eat this. I maybe, maybe I'm just dumber than a three-year-old. No, that's why they have the label on the thing. Yeah, so babies can read it, and babies will be like, oh, yeah, I shouldn't eat this. They're right. It's not for me. Sorry. And he's like, oof. Can't play airsoft that- with you guys this weekend. It's not for me. It's three and up. Sorry, bud. <laughs> They're on the phone with their other baby friends who are, like, four. It's oh. tough being younger than all your friends, I assume. I just... I want to play airsoft. I heard that they're like, I had some friends tell me about how they played airsoft in like the woods, around, like the beach, I guess. Mm-hmm. And it's super fun, but it hurts a lot. <laughs> it does hurt to get hit with a pellet. Yeah. Uh, he said my friend said that he had an Uzi, and so it was only close range. Everyone else was using like mid long. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. Um. So he was at a severe disadvantage, so he partnered up with the one dude who brought a sniper rifle. <laughs> Makes sense. And S- I would hate to get hit by that. Getting thing. hit with an airsoft sniper rifle really sucks. Those things are like 1,200 feet per second or something like that. It's too much. It hurts uh, a lot. Those are some welts. Yeah. I just I worry I'm going to break my ankles in the woods out there. There's a lot of shit. We should get people. There aren't enough people in this area. We need to get Boots. Boots. But they're so heavy. But they're, they're boots. Yeah. <laughs> they're designed for that. <laughs> but they're so heavy, and you got to lug them around on your stupid feet. What? And they feel like <laughs> bricks. I don't know. What don't kind like of boots bo- are you wearing? I don't like boots. Steel toes. <laughs> oh, I don't mind those. Those are the kinds that I wear, especially the ones that, like, brace around your ankle. I don't like boots. I never have. I'm okay with boots. I'm not. Because I hate them. <laughs> And that's all. That's all I have to say about that. I like Boots. I like Boots the monkey. <laughs> I don't. A monkey shouldn't be purple and they shouldn't wear boots. Where does Boots the monkey from? Dora the Explorer. Oh. <laughs> sort of figure why that was only vaguely familiar to me. Yeah, fuck that stupid monkey. And Map. I'm okay with Map. Who is a talking Map? You know, I'm not okay he, with he Backpack. Always, he always... I hated Backpack. Fuck Backpack. And Swiper? Swiper is cool. No, he's not. Yeah. Stealing is not cool. He's always trying to swipe. Well, it's okay if you're always getting caught every time. (laughs) And they would stop and be like, Swiper, no swiping. And he'd be like, ah, shit. Shuck. Shit. (laughs) Fuck. (laughs) You you got me. fucking caught me again. He's like, Thieves Guild rule. If they catch you, you can't do it again. Nope. Not until you leave the area and come back. And then he does. Fucking swiper. What a cool guy. If you do a shitty thing enough and get caught, then it becomes lovable. <laughs> I guess. Oh man. How many times do you think Swiper gets away with it? For how many times they catch him? I feel Say nine out of ten he gets away with it? <laughs> I mean they get the thing back, I believe. Yeah, they get the thing back. Yeah, but it's like he's not just following this little girl and this monkey around trying to steal shit from them, right? He does other things when they're not on their adventures. I think what he does is he steals the thing, and then he just builds a camp nearby. Like, that just happens to be on the path that they're going on. And he's just like, yeah, I'm just going to camp out here. Like, it'll be fine. I have this thing. I'm going to sell it. And like, wh- what is it? It's like a weird stone star. Like, probably worth nothing. But I'm going to sell it. Always these stupid clues to whatever. I don't know how Dora the Explorer works. I just remember swiping, no swiping. There's a map, there's a talking backpack, and there's a monkey. And you have to be fucking high and also speak Spanish to enjoy that show. I've lived in two different houses with babies and toddlers. And I still don't understand. Does she go to school? Did she drop out of school to live in the woods? I don't know. Also, how, like, 
her cousin Diego just shows up, and then he's like, I'm a character. And then they just and suddenly then he gets make a him. spin-off. Yeah, they give him a show. which He rescues animals. I believe is a little bit more popular than Door of the Explorer. Should be. He rescues animals. It's worth... Because yeah. I, do- I think it's more substantial. This podcast is over now. Well, hold on. <laughs> think about the fact... How old would you say Dora the Explorer is? Eight? You know, a bilingual eight-year-old? <laughs> yeah. You know, like a ESL-speaking eight-year-old girl? Let's get real. That's not possible, is it? That's uh, not possible. She is eight. She's got to be eight. If she's not eight, she's six. I'm saying, I don't know how old she is exactly. She's not old enough to be perfectly fluent in two languages. Look, she's got a monkey that can speak English and Spanish, too. My nephew is five, and he sucks at all of English. I don't think he could learn Spanish in the next three years. Well. (laughs) (laughs) Nothing against my nephew. I love the guy. He's not learning Spanish anytime She's got soon. a talking backpack and a map. I mean, I'm sure they teach her Eng- uh, English and Spanish in her sleep. I think she's just... I think she... She left school. She got lost in the woods. And she just eats mushrooms all day. And, like, some of them are poisonous. So she lays on the floor in the woods. And she has weird poison hallucinations. There's a monkey. He stole the red boots. And he's just wearing them. And he just follows her around because... Holy shit, maybe this little girl's gonna drop other cool things. And the map sings and tells her where to go. And Dora's like, uh, there's a fox who's like trying to steal her bread, and she's like, swipe her. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> swipe her, no swiping. You gotta, you gotta push your, push your the, hand out. The hand stop signal. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> and then he runs <laughs> away. <laughs> Dora, the explorer, is dark. Yeah. And then Diego, Diego comes out and he's just like, he swings in a rope and he's like, Dora, are you okay? Oh my god, Dora. He's like, oh no. Oh no. Oh. And he's like, there's no saving you. And he picks up a rock. Like in both hands. He's like, I'm sorry. And she's like, wait. I'm the map. And the fox eats them both. And uh, they're dead. And that's Hansel and Gretel. Wow. Fucked up what we just did to the, the two beloved children's shows. Yeah, Hansel and Gretel was my favorite children's show. There's a show about some fat bunnies. Uh, Max and Ruby? Yeah, Max and Ruby. That show sucks. That little kid's a dickhead. There's a theory that that little kid is Vladimir Putin. <laughs> what? Is that real? Yeah, if you search, if you Google it, you'll see like a similarity. All right, we have to end this episode so I can look that up. All right. So, this is the end. Thank you if you made it this far. Thank you very much for listening. Sorry we were gone for so long. We'll try not to do that again. Shouts um, out. Shouts out. You do this one. Shouts out. I'm going to do the first one. All right. Cup God. Shouts out Cup God. He did our logo. I bought a shirt from him. Cool shirt. Fuck, by um, the way. I don't remember the URL. Uh, I know the site's print all over me. But I don't remember what his specific store is. Go to his Twitter, a styrofoam cup, and no shirt, and and yeah, go to his thing and his print all over me store, and buy his shirts because they're cool. And um, so now it's my turn to do one. Fuck. Shout out to Papa John's Pizza. Nope. Shout out to the Oklahoma nope. Mudfuckers nope. organization. Nope. Nope. For sponsoring this episode. Nope. This was supposed to be Twitter users. Shouts out to Ford Focuses. Uh, well, yeah, but <laughs> I love my car. Yep. Uh, shouts out, of course, to Piss Andre. We're going to do a podcast with her at some point. Yeah, we'll do an interview. It's going to happen. Every time we try to, something happens. To me specifically, you're fine. Hold on. Hold You've been on. fine both times. I really have been, but... Hold on. Related to what we're going to do for Piss Andre's podcast interview, Mm -hmm. did you know they made a game about the thing that we're talking about? It's on Steam. Oh, fuck. I'll have to look that up, too. Oh, and by the way, it's not Piss Andre anymore. That's right. Uh, It's Faux Fox. Faux Fox. Um, F-A-U-X-F-A-W-X. That's confusing. I think that's that's right. I I think that's right. I think that's right. Uh, yeah, she's, she'll always be piss Andrew to me. In our hearts. In in our hearts. My heart. Um, 
So now I have to look up this Vladimir Putin thing, and I have to look up this game on Steam. Do we have any more shout-outs? Uh, the American Justice System for failing. Um, good job, guys. Like, you did it. Not to get on a pedestal. I'm not gonna. Fuck you. Fuck the police. Fuck, um... Fuck a grand jury. Fuck a Supreme Court. White people. What are we doing, guys? It's privilege. And shout out to... <laughs> shout out to... Cheesesteaks. Cheesesteaks? Cheesesteaks. I drove to Philadelphia... Exactly. To eat cheesesteak. That's something we could have talked about. <laughs> Forgot to talk about that. Hey, there's oh, no we're story. going to New York th- there's this no month. Story. There's no story. I went to Philadelphia with our friend we call Shiloh, t- literally to eat cheesesteak. We stayed in a hotel in New Jersey and came back the next day. I really wish that you guys recorded that so you could put that on YouTube. <laughs> I do. Man, we'll have to do that on uh, our trip to New York. That's a thing. At the end of December, December 26th uh, through the 28th, we will be in New York somewhere. I don't know where. I don't remember where the hotel is that we booked already. Um, I don't remember either. All I know he never is that, told me. He that told shit, me it was $230. That shit is non-refundable, so someone has to go. Shiloh is going. I'm pretty sure I'm going. I'm pretty sure I'm going. So, update. We're pretty sure we're going to be in New York City uh, December 26th through the 28th. Yep. If you live in New York City, shouts out to Melopone. That's who I'm going to shout out. Shouts out to Melopone. He's one of the people I'm looking forward to seeing in New York. I like Johnny Wags. Hey, Johnny Wags, yep. If you are in New York and you want to see us, or me by myself, I know some of you guys don't really like Jeff. You know, fuck uh, yourself. <laughs> How about that? God, God damn it. Okay. Well, I think that's about going to do it. Fuck. They can't hear me, but I am folding my arms. We end every podcast with the joke that this is going to be the last podcast. This is going to be I think this might podcast. be the last one. All right. Good night, everybody. I'm going to beat you up after this is over. I said I'd do it, and it's come to this. (laughs) This hurts me. Wait. Wait. No!